All right, the topic for today um, are points of intersections um, of quadratic graphs. Um, very simple, very simply, if I have two lines right here, two lines can meet at most at one point or an infinite number of points. But when we have a quadratic graph, when we have quadratics, things get more interesting. If I have a parabola and I have a second line, there's a chance that that line will cut the parabola twice. There's a chance that that line will cut the parabola just once. And then there's a chance that the line simply will not meet the parabola at all. Similarly, if I have two parabolas, so if I have my first parabola right here, if I draw a second parabola, there's a chance that the parabolas will meet twice. There's a chance that they'll meet once. There's a chance that the two problems, one just right below, there's a chance that the two problems will never meet. And so we have to find a point of intersection. And the key, the fundamental key to understanding this right here, if I have a first function f of x and I have a second function g of x, they will meet when f and g are the same. When f of x is equal to g of x. And once we have that happening, that will be a point of intersection. And so that is the basic rule for solving these kinds of equations, is you set them equal to each other, and then you solve for the variable at which they meet. Find the point of intersection. Between um, f which is 2x squared minus 4x plus 3, and g, which is x squared plus 2x minus 5. Again, to find the point of intersection, all I have to do is make f equal to g. And when that happens, I just set the bodies of each equation equal to each other, and that will be effectively setting them equal to each other. And so I will go 2x squared minus 4x plus 3 must be the same as uh, x squared plus 2x minus 5. Okay, this is a quadratic equation because the highest power of x is 2. The first thing we will endeavor is to get this equal to 0 on one side of the equation because then we can use our quadratic techniques to solve. And so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract x squared on both sides. We're going to subtract 2x on both sides. We're going to add 5 on both sides. And in doing so, this entire side will cancel out, become 0. Um, 2x squared minus x is just x squared. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6x, and then 5 plus 3 is 8. And lo and behold, we have a nice, nice, simple quadratic equation to solve. Again, all of these examples are chosen so that they factor nicely because factoring is the fastest way to solve. But you could use the quadratic formula, you could complete the square and to get to the answer this factors into x minus 4 times x minus 2 is 0 and so I get x is equals to 4 and x is equals to 2. And so what that tells us is that my two points of intersection, I have two of them, are 4 comma an unknown y and 2 comma an unknown y. How am I going to find those two unknown numbers? Very simple. I take 4 and I plug it into one of the original equations. It does not matter which one. I know that they will be equal. Uh, and so it doesn't matter which one I plug it in, I will get the answer. And similarly, I will take the 2 and plug it in as well. So let's go ahead and let's use f. 
f of 4 is equal to 2 times 4 squared. Maybe you at home can take g, but you know what the answer is going to be. That's um, 2 times 16 minus uh, 16 plus 3, so that's 32 minus 16 plus 3, that's 19. <coughs> so the corresponding point is 4 comma 19. And then the other one, um, f of 2, that is 2 times 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 3, which is 2 times 4 minus 8 plus 3, which is 8 minus 8 plus 3, which is 3. The second point of intersection. Two comma three. Um, most of these are <coughs> not that bad. You just have to remember the key point to start with. You have to set the two equations equal to each other. That will give you the x's only. So you're not done. You have to go ahead and then find the y's values. Good luck.